You're watching the station that's working for you. Now, WMAR 2 News. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. A man is in critical condition and police in Baltimore are looking for a group of teenagers in connection with the violent carjacking that happened in the Reservoir Hill neighborhood. It was early yesterday morning. Police say a man was giving rides in his personal vehicle that is typically known in Baltimore as a hack. The man and his friend picked up three teenagers, a boy and two girls on North Avenue. They turned north onto Park Avenue into Reservoir Hill and that's where police say one of the girls handed the driver $5, but police say the boy then punched the driver in the back of the head and then the driver was shot. The victim and his friend actually started to fight with the three teenagers when ultimately he was shot. He was shot in the back. When officers arrived on the scene, they found the victim suffering from a gunshot wound to the center of his back. So the three teens then drove away in the victim's 2015 Kia sedan. The driver remains in the hospital this morning in critical condition. Still no word on what caused a large fire at what was already one of Baltimore City's most dilapidated landmarks. This was the scene last night at the Old Town Mall just off North Gay Street. Some of the buildings in that area date back more than 200 years. Most of the buildings in that former shopping center have been vacant for years, if not decades. No reports of any injuries and again, no word on the cause of that fire last night at the Old Town Mall. Tonight is the first of 10 chances you're going to have to meet the new superintendent of the Baltimore County Public School System. Dr. Darrell Williams will be visiting several of the high schools in the county over the next month. The first meeting is tonight at 6 at Dundalk High School. WMR 2 News sat down with the new superintendent to ask him about some of the major issues facing students in Baltimore County. Here's what he had to say about a possible solution to make sure students who attend schools that don't have air conditioning don't fall behind when those schools have to close because of excessive heat. Since we have technology, ways in which to continue uh, to educate or to inform our students of, of work so they are not behind, but I will have to say our staff members have been great about the work they've done to prepare and the work they do when students return to keep that momentum going. Superintendent says students will not have to make up a date they missed earlier this school year. He also plans on addressing issues like state assessment tests, overcrowding in schools, and those issues that uh, they've been having with busing in Baltimore County, and also renovating older buildings in the Baltimore County public school system. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Wednesday, everyone. As we get up and over the hump, we will have continued sunshine today. Cool, crisp, and comfy out there once again. But then we will heat back up as we head towards tomorrow ahead of a cold front. The muggy meter, not muggy today. There we go. Nice and comfy. We will be having that face. Make sure you do have the sunglasses as we go throughout the day as well. We need the rain. We do have a dry and dusty stretch. September 14th, that day and beyond. We've had 11 consecutive days at this point. So, so far, the second driest September on record in Baltimore this September. Last September, close to 10 inches of rain. So yeah, we are well behind 0.15 inches of rain. That's it so far. The future cast not picking up on a whole lot, so we're not going to get a whole lot of rain for today. Nothing zilch zero, but as we head into tomorrow, we'll thicken up the clouds and it looks like most of that rain spotty rain will stay off to the south. So again, more clouds in the forecast for tomorrow, but still dry for today. Lots of sunshine, that high temperature coming in at 83 degrees. There's the heat that we will have as we go towards your Thursday and the cold front moves through, so numbers will fall right back off on Friday, but Christian, then we head right back up as we go into Saturday. Yeah, it looks like a warm weekend. Thanks, Lynette. Stick with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather on the go, you can always download the WMAR2 News app. It's in the App Store. It's got live radar, and you can set up breaking news alerts to come straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.